Hi, thanks for joining me today for Let's Be Creative with LBC. I'm Tracy and I have a special project for us today. Here we are ending 2020, the craziest year on record, and we are entering a whole new year of 2021. More than ever, I think it is really important to keep an eye on the positive things in life and not focus on the negative things. So today's project is going to be a gratitude keeper. It'll be a little book that you will be able to keep track of the good things that happen to you during the course of the day. So you could go about something like this in a myriad of ways. Um, I know there are gratitude journals. To me, when I think of a gratitude journal, I think about a diary which has positive and negative things, but a diary has way too much writing for me. I want something that I that's going to be kind of short and sweet where I make little notes of things. And the way I want to separate my book out is by days of the week. So I should have at the end of the year, 52 positive things that I can put into these blocks in my little book. So what we're gonna need today is a ruler, and scissors and of course safety scissors for the littles. You will need some sort of adhesive. I'm going to use mostly Mod Podge, but um, I'm, I started it, I still need to finish it, which you will see. Um, but a glue stick will also work, so will Elmer's household glue. Um, Double-sided tape also will be fine. And a pen and scrap paper. This I made using, um, with scrap papers in my well, I have a lot of scrap paper and paper, so I used a stash. I found complimentary papers. You might remember the journal we did back in April that used newspaper. You could use newspaper. You could use um, wrapping paper. You can use <laughs> garbage bags. There are lots of things you can do, but I picked some paper from my stash, and we'll show you. I'll show you how that goes. So grab some stuff and let's get started. The first thing I did was create a little mock-up of my book. This will help me plan the number of pages I need and the order of the paper. You'll need eight pages. I cut my cereal boxes to be six inches by six inches square. That should allow me enough room to write my notes, but it's a cute small book and I like the small format. Plus, I only had three cereal boxes to work with, so I couldn't do too many pages. After that, you're going to want to adhere your paper to your book using the plan that you laid out, and we'll talk more about that in a couple minutes. If you use glue, you want to make sure, or Mod Podge, you want to make sure you get your edges nice and glued up and your corners nice and good, good adhesive there because that's where your paper will tend to lift. You can also use double-sided tape or glue stick. Just make sure you run the adhesive all the way around the edges really carefully. Add your paper and square it off really cleanly and rub out any bubbles or edges with your hand. It's kind of like doing wallpaper, but different. Continue adding adhesive and paper to all of your pieces of chipboard or cereal box until you've covered all of them on both sides. This is a good time to use your mock-up because it will help you keep your paper where you want it. If you're using the same paper throughout the whole book, it's not a big deal, but if you use different papers or coordinating papers, you'll want to make sure that each of the facing pages line up according to plan. Trust me on this. You don't want to have to redo a page if you don't have to. The next step is a little time consuming, but it is totally worth it. I like to run a little ink around all the edges of my pages on both sides. This gives it a nice, complete, Mm, uniform look and it also will cover up for any mistakes you might make along the way. Uh, I like a cat's eye ink. You can also use any other ink you have for rubber stamping and a, a sharpie would also work to just kind of rub around the edges of your pages. Now that we've got paper on both sides of our cardboard or cereal boxes, it's time to assemble. I used my fingers as a guide to decide where I wanted my holes to go. 
Then I used a hole punch to mark the holes, or make the holes, and then I used the top piece as a guide to mark the rest of my pages so that all of the holes line up. You might find it more easy to use a ruler to mark your lines and make your holes, and that's absolutely fine too. I chose to use rings for this project because I want my pages to lay completely flat to make it easier for me to write in it. It will also allow me to add pages for 2022 if I want to keep doing this project. If you have a larger size book, you might need three rings, but this little six by six inch book was perfect for two rings. So wasn't that fun? I could do these books all day long. Paper is so much fun. A quick note about the Mod Podge. Uh, I used Mod Podge on this as an adhesive. Mod Podge is an adhesive and a sealer. I used it only as, a, as an adhesive for this book because I don't want it to seal the paper because that would make it really hard to write on. So you can use, like I said, glue stick or other kinds of adhesive because you're not using the Mod Podge on top. Okay, so to finish this little book, I cut four and a four and a half inch squares, and that is what you see on each page. I used uh, paper from my printer, so that's what all of these um, white pieces are, and I also put the days of the week on here. So some people have crickets and fancy die cutting machines. So do I. Well, I don't have a Cricut, but I do have a die cutting machine. So these letters, Terrific Tuesday, I used my die cuts for. If you don't have a machine to make die cuts, not to worry. You can also use a Humble pin. This was a fine point pin. And I also did another one with a pin that I'll show you. Uh, the cover is using a Sharpie. These are sticker letters that I used for this one. And then I broke out my old rubber stamps to do Sunday. I haven't stamped for a while, so Soulful Sun Sunday was made out of uh, rubber stamps, and that was kind of fun. Here's the other one that I used a Sharpie for. So not to worry if you don't have a die cutting machine. You can write them, stamp them, or use sticker letters to do this, accomplish the same goal. So that's what that is. So just remember that um, being grateful, having a sense of gratitude is a habit and some days are harder than others. So let this little book be a tool for you to remember to write things down. And the boxes are small, so you don't have to be elaborate. I'm thinking things like clean sheets or fresh flowers or uh, a good night's uh, sleep or a walk in the rain. These kind of things are, or a smile of a, of a stranger. These kind of things are little, but they are what makes a day good and I just hope you can use this to keep track of the good things that happen to you or the things you are grateful for for you starting in 2021 next week all right so I wish you a very 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 happy new year and um, good health and I will see you for let's be creative after the new year